Okay, what's up you guys? So I've had this question asked to me and I've honestly, to be quite honest, asked this question to myself a lot as well over the course of becoming a PA and learning about the PA profession. And the question is, can we as PAs own and operate our own practice? So that is what I'm gonna be talking about in today's video. What's up you guys, this is John and welcome back to my channel. So as you heard, we are gonna be talking about ownership, practice ownership, um, and PA ownership, what it means to own your own PA practice, if that's even a possibility, how do you go about doing that and finding out that information, um, if it is a possibility. We're gonna be hitting all of those various different topics in this video. But the question came from Benafier, Benafier, I, I hope, I, I don't know, I might have butchered it, but um, so go. And she asks, thanks for your answer. Can a PA start their own clinic or telemedicine practice? Or doesn't depend on the state. So I'm saying, or she's probably saying, or does it depend on the state? If so, which states allow that? Thank you. All right, so great question. It's a question that I know a lot of you know pre-PA students and just uh, people that are interested in healthcare in general and PAs have. You know, can I own my own practice? Can I start my own practice? And I know some of you that may not be familiar with the PA practice are like, well, why is that even a, a, a question? You know, you guys are practitioners. You're prescribing medicine. You're seeing patients. Um, you operate similar to like an NP or a physician, so why would you not be able to start your own practice? And the reasoning uh, that there is so much like, concern or confusion about it is because we are dependent practitioners. Um, and what I mean about that is in our delegation agreements, which we have to have delegation agreements, there is supposed to be a physician that is our attending or our supervising physician or collaborating physician. Um, all of these terminologies change from, you know, and vary from state to state, but essentially PAs were made to assist physicians, right? Like that's what the profession was made for, to help with like carry the burden of the physician and see patients and, and do all of that while um, at the same time, you know, providing care. Great. So that's what the profession started off as. It has obviously evolved to so much more. But with that being said, we are still technically dependent providers across the United States. And therefore, what that means is that we need to have a supervising physician. So with that being said, if there is a, a need for a supervising physician, how can you own your own practice? And that is really the question that most people have. So the short, like the long and short of the answer is yes, PAs can own their own practice. There are several PAs that own their own practice, their own clinics, um, and there are different types of clinic, clinics like urgent care, um, there's like weight loss clinics, there are you know sports medicine clinics, orthopedic clinics that I've seen that, that are like satellite clinics that PAs own and run, there are uh, family medicine clinics, there are derm clinics that PAs run. So there, there are lots, there you can, you can own your own clinics and I've seen obviously some of those PAs transition into telemedicine um, because they already had their own practice in and of itself like prior to um, moving into the virtual space. So yes, yes, PAs can. Yes, 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 we can absolutely own our own practice. Um, but with that being said, there are some various different stipulations and kind of hoops that you have to run through and jump through, and that is where it can get confusing and discouraging, um, and that's where you kind of have to put the work in. So APA has like a great uh, article about what it means to be um, have like ownership as a PA and own your own practice and what essentially goes into all of that so you can always go to APA's website and look at um, business ownership uh, from the PA standpoint you can just search that and the article will come up uh, but really and truly you kind of have to go to your state your respective state's board of medicine to see exactly what they say in terms of the regulations because like I said there are states where you don't you're not um, so you're not a sup you're not supervising like you don't need a supervising physician but you need a collaborating physician or um, somebody that is like participating and the terminology is different and because the terminology is different that means the scope of practice and the so scope of supervision that is needed or required can vary because that that language is different 
So in terms of the states that I know of for sure, like Florida is on that list, Maryland is on that list, Washington State, California, Arizona. Um, those are some of the states that I know because I just kind of did my research on that really quickly. So I know that you can own your own practice in those states. Now, does it mean that you actually want to live in any of those states? Maybe not. And so if you're in a state that I did not name, then you have to go, like I said, to your state's board of medicine and actually look to see what the regulations are and what the stipulations are with respect to PA ownership. Now, some of the things that kind of come into play with that is how are you going to be billing with respect to insurance companies, and there's like a whole other slew of things with respect to Medicare and Medicaid and all of those different um, really getting paid aspect of things. And so you're going to have to source through all that that information. But if you are really interested in this, and this is something that you want to do, you want to own your own clinic, you want to own your own practice, whatever it may be, whatever specialty it may be in, then you really have to do the work. And so ultimately, the answer is yes, PAs can own their own practice. There are several PAs that do and have owned their own practice for years. Uh, but you just have to do the research and figure out what exactly that means and then kind of just get it done. Um, so it's something that I will probably look into later on down the line. Right now, I'm still getting my feet wet as a baby PA, as I like to call myself, you know, just kind of figuring things out. But uh, PA ownership, uh, especially when it comes to telemedicine, <laughs> that's a no brainer. I get to stay home and you know see patients and still assist them and help them in that way that's like that's easy right that's like a layup so for sure um absolutely it's something that i think anybody who is about uh that business mindset should look into uh you just have to do the research okay thank you so much for this question it was great um like i said go to apa's website to check out what they have on pa ownership go to your state's board of medicine's website to see what the regulations are there's also like a telemedicine website that i will leave in the description box below for you guys as well so you can if you're interested in that you can see specifically like what some of the regulations with respect to health, telehealth and telemedicine might be. Um, and then you can also just Google and, you know, go on YouTube and, you know, subscribe to channels like mine and others uh, so that you can get information on uh, ownership and what that means to be a PA owner as a business owner. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other questions for me, please leave them in the comment section below. Go ahead and like this video. Um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, edit on the PA and on Instagram. I get that to university. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!